Hello, this is Matthew Miller with Nokia Experts. In my hand, I've got my Nokia N900, and we finally have our first GPS navigation software um, that's not Nokia Maps. Now, um, it does come with OV Maps on the Nokia N900, but it's not a very good client. So we've been waiting for an OV Maps update. We haven't got that yet. But what we do have is, uh, you can see an icon right there, Mobile Maps 9 from Sigic. Going to go ahead and launch it here, just get us started, and then uh, we'll set up a, uh, a route. My daughter's going to drive, so I'm not going to be driving while I'm filming this, so don't worry. I'm uh, doing this safely. So as you can see, Sigic Mobile Maps 9 USA. I'm going to select the USA Maps. Doing initially initialization right now setting up the GPS and the maps as you can see I'm in an area with a fairly good 3G signal on T-Mobile it's actually been several days since I ran my N900 here sure how long this initialization is going to take. It's looking for a GPS fix at the same time as you can see in the icons up top there. All right, um, let's see. It's loaded just to make sure that you're going to drive safely. Say I agree. And oops have too many buttons there. So there we go. That's kind of a quick little view of what uh, where we're at. And um, I'll be back in just... So this is just kind of a view of where we're at. I can tap on the plus or minus to zoom in and out. Um, there's a little bit of indicators down there. It tells where we're at, signal strength, and then any speeds. If I tap on the blue arrow, this goes to our main menu. And here you can see there's navigate to, browse the map, um, alternative routes, itinerary, um, the route settings, tap over, we see some more, manage the POIs, memorize the position, extras, tap on extras, you can see there's a world clock, a calculator, unit converter, and country info. Let's go back, and then you can see there's another one, let's see what's the next one go over to, it goes back to the main one. Let's just jump into the settings real quick, show you some settings, set to 2D, flat view, Go back, settings, set 2D north up. Set night colors, disable sounds, charge settings, planning preferences, advanced settings. And there you can see there's a few advanced settings, avoiding U-turns, enable lane assist, auto zoom, you can tap next. Do some, it's hard to do one-handed here. And you can see there's different panels um, that show either time of arrival, current speed, de distance to destination, or signal indicator. I personally like time of arrival, so we'll go with that. And then next, max speed warnings can be turned on with a warning sound as well. And then um, you can set your speed limits settings right there. And let's see, there's 3D view. I like that. Let me just tap on 3D view. That's what we're going to go with. Let's see what other settings we have. As you can see, there's signpost settings, keyboard settings, regional settings, switching your map, setting your voice, and the voice. As you can see, there's uh, different voices English, Lucian, and there's uh, other voice prompts as well. Uh, a couple more things to look at real quick. Manage POI, and as you can see, you can add them, edit, delete, show hide, a bunch of different things. I'm just running through quickly. This is just a first look at this uh, application and my first real usage of it. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of uh, messing around with it. Let's go say navigate to and see how you would set up uh, a destination. 
As you can see, you can designate a home area, a zip code, a favorite, a point of interest, an address, or history. Um, let's see if there's the next arrow. And then uh, enable GPS position and a point on a map. I'll be right back after designating a spot to go to. So here's the navigate to menu and you can set up favorites, history, zip code, home, point of interest. If, um, let's see, I'll type in the, let's just go zip code for now. Uh, Washington State. Let's type in See an enter key after you uh, let's go three seven two. So after I enter it, I guess it's this key in the middle. Or I tap I tap the selection down there. I don't know how to hide the keyboard because there's little uh, little buttons over here. Oh, there we go. So let me just pick a street anywhere in Edgewood. That's fine. One, two, three, done. Okay, and then as you can see on a map, parking, add to favorites, route me. I'll just say route me. I don't know what address this is. And there we go. That gives us um, the stats, the overview, details, uh, distance, ETA, time left, method is fastest. If I say done, and it will start our navigation session. Close the keyboard and uh, let's get on our way and we'll kind of listen to a little bit of uh, what's going on as we uh, start driving. So as you can see it gives us the uh, time to our next turn or distance about 0.6 miles. It says uh, ETA is 826, 2026 and about 7 miles away. go. As you can see the speed limits the speed is starting to pick up a bit as we start to drive. Please forgive me if I yell at my daughter as she's driving. We'll pick back up when uh, it gets more exciting with the directions here. Well, actually, we'll wait till this first turn see if it picks it up. There's actually a round coming up here that would be interesting to see if that picks up on the map. And as you can see, there's a plus and a minus in the upper corners of the map. I haven't found a way to do full screen, so they still end up with the, the top bar up there of uh, status and things like that. And I'm not quite sure how turn to turn right. that. that uh, distance to the turn is changing. It's 400 yards to the next turn, 350. Yeah, it's get, has our current speed limit as well on there. After 200 yards, go right at the traffic circle. Take the first exit. All right, so it is telling about the traffic circle. We don't have very many of these. Slow down. Go right at the traffic circle. Take the first exit. We don't have many of these in Washington State, so this is kind of interesting. You don't need a blinker on the traffic circle. Now you need a blinker on the right. Looks like the program is getting a little lost on the traffic circle still. All right, now we're on the highway. After 200 yards, turn left. Now, see, for some reason, the program is wrong. It's trying to tell us to turn left on the 320th. It's got a... Turn a, left. Oh, I see. It's got a route to Edgewood, which is wor not where we're going, actually. So, uh, we'll see how the rerouting does, since we're now actually on the highway. And, um... 
not going on that route that they specified. That's why it was having us turn there, kind of messed that up. Should do an auto reroute here and let's see what it comes up with. Something I wanted to test out anyway. up on our reroute yeah still doesn't quite have us on the highway it looks like those yellow lines are the highway and it doesn't really have us on there there we go no it's not a good sign for a program the, the $80 cost here up better than this. I am uh, fairly close to the window. The signal of the GPS signal is showing fairly, fairly strong. There we go. It's got us on I-5 now. It wants us to get up on a Chena Parkway, which makes sense if we were going that way. Let me go ahead and set another destination to try to get us back on track. Okay, so I've programmed in uh, another address that's more along this particular route since otherwise it would continuously keep trying to reroute us. So now you can see it does pick us up on the highway. Over on the right hand side, it, it actually will give you uh, the speed limit signs, which is handy to have on roads that you may not have paid attention for that. So you can see it says 60 over there. And we're follow going the about, four miles. about 62. So just follow this route for four miles before our next turn, which is good. And uh, I was looking for night mode. I guess that's in the settings. I haven't enabled that. So these are kind of bright colors for driving in the car at night. So as that navigation is going on, let's go ahead and tap on that and see if we can uh, switch it over. There we go. Set night colors. And then go back. I'll show you that view of that as well. So here's the view of the night colors. As you can see, it's got the black background with the uh, in there as we're going. So that's kind of a first look. I've got uh, a lot more testing to do before I do my full review and make pass a judgment on the application. Um, but that's just kind of a, give you an overview of what's going on with it. I don't think there's a trial version, so stay tuned for my full, formal, more in-depth review uh, in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching.